Butters. Hey guys, my name is Sigman and welcome to an impromptu video log. Well, these aren't going to be impromptu anymore after this. What basically the plan is, I'm going to be posting these video logs at hopefully from this point forward, maybe at around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, maybe noon. I'm not really sure about the times on that. Let me know what you all think about it. I'll, go, I'll get to the explanation as to why in a bit. There is not going to be gaming content today. The reason being is the last video that I recorded ended up coming out really, really bad. I'm going to be honest with you. It was not, it wasn't something I would be proud to put out. It, it just wasn't good. I'm going to be uh, good, play, fiddling around with stuff and it's just a lot of things weren't going my way in that video. So yeah, I, I sincerely apologize for it. I will make up for it. So you'll see the videos will be back on schedule starting tomorrow. But with these video logs, expect them every Saturday. At least I will try to have them every Saturday at around 1 p.m. noon to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The idea behind this video log, and I know I've done it before and I quit and I really needed to get back into it. So I want to talk about how, you know, talk to you guys. Talk to all of you and let you know how my week's going. You know, what goes on pretty much in my life, which, spoiler, it gets really, really boring. My life, that is. There's not, nothing really too exciting this week. Pretty much my life consists of YouTube, my job, coming home. Spending time with my wife, spending time with all the animals, then YouTube, sleep, which doesn't happen a lot, and then, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I, I just lead a pretty normal life. Nothing really extravagant happens. I, I, I don't mind sharing it with you all. I mean, I'm obviously not going to go into the deep, dark, gritty details because my wife would probably kill me. I will say one big event happened this week, though. One thing did happen. My wife found a dog. Now, I'm not kidding you. Here's what happened. So she was on her way home. She drove by the mailboxes. This was late at night, mind you. She drove by the mailboxes to pick up her mail, obviously. Well, she sees this little white thing dart in front of her car. She slams on her brakes to avoid running it over, which she didn't, and see that it is a small dog. I'm assuming it was like a rat terrier, uh, chihuahua mix breed. I'm gonna leave a picture of it. You'll see it probably right about now. Something, yes. That dog was a delightful bundle of energy and Midnight absolutely loved it. No, we did not keep the puppy because in our living situation, we don't really own our own house. We rent it. So I can't really have, I already have, you know, three cats, two birds, and a dog. So if in, in the event of what, like, we don't live here anymore if we move out, I mean, who's really gonna take in somebody who has two dogs, three cats, two birds? It's a two, three, two. It's like an awkward coder combination, isn't it? So what we did though is we found, it was one of my wife's friends who fosters dogs on a regular basis. Long story short, the, the, her friend has the dog now. We, I, I really wish we could have kept it because our dog Midnight absolutely loved it. They played together all the time, even though this dog is like a quarter, not even a quarter, maybe a tenth of Midnight's size. Midnight's not a massive dog, but this chihuahua is itty, 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 bitty. Cute and adorable, well-behaved animal. I would like to throw out there, we did do our due diligence on that. Yeah, I can say big words and stuff and tie them together, it makes sense. But wait, the word do isn't that big, neither is diligence. Diligence, that's only three syllables. I have nothing to brag about. We did the uh, research and everything. The dog had tags, actually had rabies tags from 2014, if that tells you anything. We had managed to get a hold of the company that administered, not the actual vet, but the company itself. And the information that we had on who owned the animal was outdated. The dog didn't even have a chip in it to where we could find who owned it, you know, if, even if it's up to date on its shots. There was no way of knowing. And I went through the neighborhood. I scoured the neighborhood. I asked neighbors. Couldn't find out who owned it. So instead, what we did was we found a place to foster the dog so we know that the animal's going to get a good home. So he is going to be going to a good home. I will keep you all appraised of that situation as it goes on. Yeah, it kind of sucked for, it sucked for midnight, really. It really did, because he had a buddy. Our cats do not like him at all. We've tried to get those all them all to get along and it doesn't happen. Midnight wants to play and the cats are all like, you're still a fucking asshole. Pretty much that's how it goes. My cats are all attitude, all attitude. I mean, that should be expected, right? That's just cats, cats act that way. And it's, but I, but I will say, oh, uh, what was funny is when my wife first brought the dog home, my little cat Mohawk, my, my phone going off uh, for absolutely no reason. My cat Mohawk, my youngest cat, my little cat, she's my, she's my little baby. Yeah, I've, I've had her since she was a little bit of kitten, but she looked at my wife and gave my wife the biggest you bitch look you would have ever seen. Like this cat was like, all right, all right. Enough, I've had enough of this. It's like, oh my God, first you bring in the big black dog and then you bring in a little tiny one and it's even louder. Oh God, that's pretty much what we got from all of that. That he, yeah, the cat stayed away from it, but every time, apparently this little dog doesn't like cats because every time it saw a cat, 
it, every time it saw the cats, it was either, it would just chase them down or just start barking at them. So either A, the dog doesn't like cats, or B, it doesn't know what the cats are. And this dog was not neutered. Was not neutered at all. So, you know, I had it had its junk right there. So I was kind of worried it was going to try to hunt my cats. Where this thing was, he hunt midnight. That, that, that just, that's, that's just when it got really weird. We had to break it up, you know, both were upset. Phone numbers were in exchange, you know, it's not like they went to dinner or in a movie or anything. They just kind of walked up right on my couch and just started, you know, doing all the stuff that dogs do when they're in, they're in that situation. Don't ask why midnight got involved. He's fixed. I, 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 I still can't make heads or tails of that. But, you know, here I am rambling on and on and on. I could talk about my animals for days. If you'd like to know more about the backstory of my cats or my birds, let me know in the comment section down below. Actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and tell you another story here because I, I, I'm really I'm really into sharing mode right now. My bird, Oscar, you saw him. You know he says the word bullshit, but here's another fun fact for you that you may not have known. He thinks, and I am being 100% honest about this, he thinks my name is asshole. That's right, my bird, Oscar, thinks my name is asshole. So that means I've been called an asshole by somebody so many times to where he actually thinks it's my name. He hasn't really said it lately. I think it's because he hasn't heard the word said a lot. Because I say other swear words when I play video games. I'm surprised he hasn't picked up on that yet. But it used to be I would walk into the room and he would announce it for everybody. Everybody in the room would know that I walked in because I would step right up and he would look at me, fluff up a little bit and say, it's asshole. Yeah, yeah, that, that, at first I was kind of upset by it, but after all I got a little adorable. But every time he wanted my attention, he'd look at me and go, asshole. 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 Asshole! Yeah, yeah, I'm not kidding you. And also, when I, I, I know I talked about this in a video, but when I first met Oscar, when he was still younger, he was a lot younger. He's about, I think he's about maybe 10, 11, 10 or 11 years old now. But when he was younger, he hated my guts. I walked up. He used to be able, he used to give kisses. He would look, you can go, kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. He lured me into a false sense of uh, protection. False sense of security. Damn, I need to quit hitting that. False sense of security. I walked up and he looks at me and goes, kiss, kiss, kiss. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I go up mm, and he reaches out with his little beak and grabs right on my lip, right like this. Now, if any of you know the strength of a bird's beak, it can crack walnuts. So what do you think this thing would have done to my lip if it wanted to? Well, it clamps on to my lip and I look down at it cross-eyed because you know, it was right there in front of my face. And then he just looks at me and I'm not kidding you, looks me dead in the eye and goes. At that point, I was at his mercy. I was at his mercy and lucky me, he backed off. But after a while, he got used to me. We got used to each other, became really good friends and all that. And he used to be, I used to play World of Warcraft a lot and I'd have him on my shoulder. Sometimes he'd fall asleep. He actually used to be potty trained. I say used to because I didn't get him out of his cage a lot. He kind of lost that as you saw in the other video log, was it uh, last week? That's yeah, he kind of lost, lost that. Yeah, which kind of sucks, but if I wasn't paying attention to him, he'd actually bite my ear. And I'd just say, well, what's your problem? And he'd fluff up. That was his way of saying, hey, I gotta go take a shit. Let me in my cage right now, or I'm gonna poop all over you. And it, you know, it's good. I'm trying to get him out of his cage more often. It's a slow but sure process. Once I get him used to being out of his cage, hopefully you all will be able to see him more. I'm really, really excited about that because I'd like to get him involved because it seems like all of you really, really enjoyed him being in the video. So I you know, can't make any promises yet. It may take some time, but I am going to try to get him to be more used to being on my shoulder again, playing this. The only downside again, is it, it is a sauna in here. So it gets really, really hot and really, really sticky and really, really nasty. He enjoys it. He's a tropical bird. He could just sit in a nice hot area like this and it could be a stove for all he cares. And he would just be tickled shitless because it's nice and toasty while I'm sitting over here in a pile of my own sweat. Okay, so I think, wow. All right, yeah, I've rambled on a really, 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 really long time. Sorry about that. I that's what these video logs are for this one in particular I want to just share my week and share some of the stuff that goes on in my life If you'd like to know anything else about my other animals Let me know again in the comments section down below. Thank you all so much for your time I apologize that content was not up today, but expect it to be back on track tomorrow Well, you know what time it is outro time <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button, like button, douche. Share the video with a friend, that would be great. And hey, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more great content. I just realized I've been doing this a lot throughout this whole video, because the chair rocks. It's actually kind of cool, except it probably gets really annoying for you guys 
because I'm constantly moving. It's usually because you know I'm playing Let's Plays and stuff. I'm always like, yeah, 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 like like a, like that little dog we found, a little Chihuahua, like on speed or something, or a lot of sugar or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, here I go ranting again. Thank you all again so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.